Let's start at MetLife Stadium where the Jets take on the Giants in the preseason opener. Big Blue starting quarterback Daniel Jones sits this game out along with the majority of the Giants' first team defense. Jets rookie quarterback Zach Wilson saw his first in-game action as the number two pick did not have a touchdown but did go a nice 6 for 9 for 63 yards against the Giants' second string defense. Gang Green's only touchdown on the night came via running back LaMichael Pirine while the Giants scored their only touchdown on a 21-yard completion from backup quarterback Clayton Thorpe to Damian Willis. The Jets win the Snoopy Bowl 12-7 after the game. Zach Wilson said he wasn't nervous but rather excited to get things started. No, no, not really. I mean, I think a little bit anxious uh, just to get going. I think is all it really was, you know, especially when uh, we, we kick off first. You know, I'm always excited to get on the field first, but you know, you sitting there and, and the nerves are rushing a little bit. The Yankees will need the White Sox. Moving to baseball as the Yankees look to take two of three from the White Sox. Top of the first in Chi-Town as Rugnet Odor drills a two-run home run to give the Yanks the early lead. Nasty Nestor Cortez goes six innings, one run, seven strikeouts. Luke Voigt provides the survival runs in the ninth with a two-run homer. Things got dicey in the bottom of the ninth, but Wandy Peralta will get the double play to end it as the Yanks trail the Red Sox by only two and a half games. Meanwhile, in Queens, former Met Justin Turner hits a first inning home run to start the run parade for the Dodgers. Carlos Carrasco would only last two innings while giving up six runs. The Dodgers win this game 14-4, completing the sweep of the Mets who fall to five and a half back in the wild card race.